A lot of people asked about a tutorial regarding the gravity pick technique, so I wanted to briefly go through it. As I said, there is not a whole lot to explain. It is extremely similar to a tremolo pick technique as far as what the right hand is doing anyway. The only major consideration is that when you are strumming up on the fretboard, because that is really the only difference, tremolo picking is just over the body, and the gravity pick technique is over the, the neck or the fretboard. So the only thing to consider is that when you're doing this, you are actually sounding this note that you are strumming over. So whatever fret that you're strumming on, you are actually going to get a little bit of that sound. So ultimately, ultimately this ends up being a blend between a tremolo pick and a tapping technique. So. <laughs> you end up getting a little bit of that note in there. Now, obviously it won't be as pronounced because you're not hitting it directly, but, but just by virtue of the motion that you're making with the pick, it will sound that note. So again, this is like a tremolo pick, but these notes have to be taken into consideration. So when I wrote this so-called gravity lick, uh, gravity pick lick, <laughs> Again, referring to these notes as if this was tuned in E standard, I'm playing in D harmonic minor, so I have the notes A, D, and G here, so I knew that these would be in key, so I just used that to strum right across the, uh, across the 12th fret here and make it easy on myself. So that's really it. If you can do the tremolo technique, you can do the gravity pick technique. The only thing is you must keep in mind that whatever note you are strumming over, whatever fret you're strumming over, you are going to sound that and it has to be in key. So that's about it. Happy practicing and good luck.